Hey everybody, welcome to Bama Q Live. I'm Daniel Mosnet, and we have got another hot one for you today. Pork belly burn ends, man. They are fantastic. One of my favorite things to eat. Little pieces of candy that come off the grill. You know, brisket burn ends, that's what everybody talks about. That's what gets the most love. You're looking around on social media, but pork belly burn ends, man, that is where it's at and you've got to make them. They don't take uh, too much skill. They're not that hard to make but they take a lot of time. So get yourself a six pack. You're gonna be there for most of the evening, all right? So hang tight. What are we working with? We are working with good product first and foremost. So we've got Compart Duroc Pork Belly. They sent me some bellies and man, they are beautiful. They've got a nice set of skin on the backside. This comes from where the bacon is from, near where the ribs are. So you've got all of that beautiful rib meat all the way through. Just beautiful, beautiful piece of, piece of pork here. So to get started, you're gonna wanna clean it up. So when you get it, you get it out of the package, you can ask your butcher to do this for you too. You're not always gonna get a full slab of pork belly, but you wanna get all these little stragglers. You wanna take all of these things off, right? You just want a nice and clean piece of meat, right? Just pop all the way through. You don't really wanna to lose too much meat, so be careful with what you're cutting but you wanna get these big chunks and marbles of fat. You wanna take those off. Technically, they will render out, but you want something that looks good too, right? You eat with your eyes first, so you wanna make sure that it is aesthetic, as my daughter would say. All right, so take these pieces out. Just trim. You want nice clean lines. Everything's in a nice clean line. Clean lines look good. Clean lines eat well. Okay, and then you wanna flip it over when you got this piece that's looking pretty good. You wanna get any of this that's left on there, any of that skin, that's the silver skin that's left on there, you wanna take that off. Just like when you're cutting out ribs, you wanna take those off, cause those can be kinda of chewy and tough, and you just pull it off the skin. Typically, this will all be done for you already, but if it's not, you gotta get in there and do it yourself. Okay, then let's flip it over. So. You've got a lot of fat on here, and a lot of this fat will render out, but you do wanna get some of the top layer off, right? I don't like mine too fatty. You can see what we have here. That's about what you're going for. And we're just gonna take some of these off. Take some of these through. Just go slow, take your time. Again, you don't wanna take off too much of the meat. You just wanna make sure that you don't have too much fat to render out. And if you do have a lot of fat that you plan on rendering out, you can save it. You can use it for popcorn. Man, it's awesome. You make yourself some good popcorn with it. You just wanna get through these pieces here. You kinda wanna just get down to the meat level, about a quarter of an inch, and just take your time, you know? I'm not a professional butcher, so it takes me a little bit longer, which is fine to do, no problem. Okay. Just get in there and just pull it back, pull it back, pull it back until you're done. Until you start seeing a little bit of that meat to come out right on the top, and then you know you've gone far enough. And just what you think you'd wanna eat. You know, if that looks good to you, if it looks appealing to you as you're cooking it. Now, if you want to, you can put this in the freezer for about 30 minutes. So it's, the, the fat's nice and, and firm. It makes it a little bit easier. It makes it a little bit easier. So that's as far as I'd take mine. You could end up taking this off if you wanted to, or you could just go through and score it all nicely. And that'll help, help it render. You wanna score it all the way across. So when you cut it, you're already ready to go. Now, how do you get those perfect cuts? We've had our friends over at Western Barbecue Products. They make all those great pieces of wood for barbecue and smoke. They've sent us this cutting board and you've got inches on all sides, right? This is how those pit masters in those barbecue competitions get the exact perfect cuts. They use boards like this. Sometimes you think they just know exactly how to do it they're usually using some kind of board. So I like an inch and a half. So you can see this is an inch here. So we go an inch and a half. 
and we cut all the way down. And then we get our piece. Right? Let's go another one. About an inch and a half. And you can just keep going as long as you want, as many pieces as you want, right? And then we'll turn it here. And we want about an inch and a half by inch and a half. So there you go. By inch and a half, right about there. Then you can make sure you get nice, even pieces every time. Makes it a lot easier. And I'll tell you what, for the first 10 comments, that comment on this video, I'll make sure we send these out to you. So log in to Cowboy Charcoal on Facebook and say hello to us. Give us a comment, let us know what you think, and we'll send some of these boards out to you. We'll talk to the folks over at Western Barbecue Products. All right, so that's about it. This has been sitting out in the sun a little bit, so it's gotten a little bit, it's gotten a little bit warm, but you can see that these are nice and scored, okay? So as soon as this is done, as soon as these pieces are done, right there, we'll do another one, and we'll do another one. Look at that chunk of meat. Look at that. That's fantastic. So all of this fat, we're hoping just about all of it renders out. We like to eat some of that pork fat because it rules. So we want that to keep going. And then we'll put them right in our bowl here. So then we'll move on and show you the next step. So the next step is seasoning. And that seasoning process takes a little while, takes a little while at least a couple of hours. Let's set this over here, we'll finish it up in a little bit. That seasoning process on this pork is gonna take a couple hours. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna wanna make, I like a honey seasoning. You take your honey seasoning, you just put it over the top. Liberally season this. You'll need it, it's gonna cook a long time. Okay, then we're gonna add our Jack Daniels barbecue pork rub. Okay, and another rub that I found, Mudville Barbecue. Man, they do such a great job. They won the American Royal last year. So it's all about layer and flavors, which is what we do here all the time with Cowboy Charcoal. We're gonna add all three of these spices. Okay, and we're gonna give these a good toss. Make sure that they're all well coated. Okay, it's kind of hard to over-season burnt ends, especially pork belly burnt ends. When you use a good rub that has great flavor, there's a lot of good ones out there. We talk about Derek Wolf and Spiceology, Sasquatch Barbecue, he's got great stuff. Christy Vanover with Girls Can Krill, she has an excellent pork rub, really, really good. You can get all of those from those folks directly on their social media pages. But see how covered we are here? You see this, uh, we've got a little bit of space left in there, so just make sure you get in there and get all covered, right? You're all covered. Every piece, every side of the pork belly is covered in seasoning. When you've done as many pieces as you want, so you take your wire rack, I go back to my duck fat. You don't want anything to stick. You just give it a nice spray. You don't have to use duck fat spray. And matter of fact, you don't really need to use any spray. I just, it helps me to make sure nothing sticks. After you've let this sit overnight, minimum a couple of four hours, let it sit, let it absorb, let all of those seasonings absorb into the meat. Once that's done, then you wanna start out fat side down. Fat side down. And you just arrange nicely. Arrange nicely, and you can do a whole tray, you can do a bunch, you can do a little, it's up to you, whatever you wanna do. Then you prepare your pellet grill. We're using Oklahoma Joe pellet smoker today. We wanna to go about 250 to 275, so we'll crank that up a little bit. We're gonna go about 250 for about two hours, two, maybe two and a half hours. You're gonna spritz this with apple juice. I like to use root beer or Coke sometimes. Uh, but apple juice about every 45 minutes to make sure that it doesn't, uh, doesn't dry out on you. Then you just take these, and you're gonna put them right in. I like to go up high on, the, on one of the racks, so I make sure I'm not directly over the fire and I'm not cooking them too quickly, okay? These are ones that I've done overnight, so they'd be ready to go for you. And this, after about, this was about three and a half hours. 
That's what you're looking for. So after about three hours, that's hot. After about three hours, you want something like that. And then you're gonna come back and you're gonna get yourself a foil pan. You're gonna add your pork belly right to the foil pan. We're gonna cover this up here shortly. We're gonna show you how to make a, a sandwich out of this in a little bit too. You're gonna add some barbecue sauce. That's a brand new bottle. Okay, we're gonna add some barbecue sauce. This is our range style cowboy barbecue sauce. We're gonna add a few more pieces of pork belly. That's hot. A few more pieces of pork belly right inside there. We're gonna add some butter right in there. Add some butter in there. Some people add brown sugar at this point. I don't know that you need it. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, you can add some honey. Honey's a good thing to add right now. And we'll add a little bit more of our seasoning. We'll give this a good mix. Get that all mixed up. Now the butter and the barbecue sauce and the existing fat that has not yet rendered out of the pork bellies, that's gonna act like a braising liquid. So it's just gonna braise, probably for about another 60 minutes or so, okay? Yeah, well incorporated, you want them nice and ooey gooey. Honey here would be great. Mike's hot honey, just drizzle that right over the top of it. Excellent. Cover it, you wanna make sure you cover it. And then that's gonna go back in, like I said, for about an hour, okay? Now, you wanna make sure that, uh, that you put some foil underneath, cause these are gonna drip a lot. They're gonna render, all that fat's gonna render, and you wanna make sure that you don't let all of that fat render all over. You can put a foil pan underneath. I wanna at least have some foil underneath so I can catch all of that. I've got nice, a nice little ridge here so it should catch as much uh, fat as renders out. And keep your eye on it. If you need to add more foil or if you need to clean it up or add a pan, you can. So now we're just gonna let this braise for about an hour, hour and a half or so. We're gonna let that cowboy barbecue sauce just permeate all the way through that pork belly. We're gonna let that fat render out, the butter in there, all come together, the honey, just make this nice ooey gooey glaze, which you can just eat just like, <laughs> like that. Or you can, put in, you can put loaded fries. We're gonna show you how to make a little slider here right now. Let's let that sit down for a little while, clean up our space here a little bit. Now what I like to do on a pork belly sandwich is I like to use these bao buns that you can get in Asian markets typically. Uh, they're usually in the frozen section. I'm sure you can find them fresh wherever you are, but you just take them and you cut them right in half, open them up. Let's get some of our pork belly that we've already cooked. And see our pork belly that's been sitting in all this braising liquid. You can see our fat has rendered out. We've got a little bit of fat all the way through here and then we've got these beautiful bits of pork belly that have just eaten up all of this glaze. Look beautiful. So we're gonna take those, we're gonna slice those up. We're gonna take a couple of pieces here. Those are still warm. Add that right, right to the bun. Add that right in there. And load it up, man. Load it up. We're gonna get you some, some healthy stuff here too. We're gonna get you some veggies right on top. So now that we've got our pork belly on there, we're gonna add some cucumber. right to the top. We're gonna to add some carrot right to the top. We're gonna to add, look at that, some more cucumber, some jalapeno, just so we can kind of fire it up a little bit. And then a little trick, we're gonna take this, we might dip that in. You could put that back on the grill a little bit if you like. And there you have a pork belly bao sandwich. Pretty simple. And then you can add more, you can add more barbecue sauce right to the top here if you like. We've, we're using the range style today. 
just a little bit right over the top. A little bit more Jack Daniel seasoning right to the top, loaded with flavor. There you are, folks. Pretty simple. Now, all you got to do is review your steps. You want to make sure that you've got about three hours to cook your pork belly to get all of that rendered out. You want to take that off. You want to sauce it with butter, brown sugar, honey, and your barbecue sauce, your favorite sauce. If you make your own sauce, use that as well. Then you want to put that back on the grill for about an hour or so, and then you've got all kinds of opportunities. You can just eat them just like that. You can eat them in a sandwich like this. You can put them on hamburger buns, loaded French fries, anything you want. This looks fantastic. I'm going to just dig into the whole thing here. I'm Daniel Mosnet with Cowboy Charcoal. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you next time.